Welcome to episode two of The Power of Our Testimony, where individuals give their testimonies and we pray that the Holy Spirit uses it to convict those who are watching to build a better and longer lasting relationship with Jesus Christ. This testimony here is given by a young theology major from Oakwood University named Jonathan Dixon. Jonathan Dixon wants to give a testimony about his experience coal portering. Let's take a look. I go to Oakwood University. I'm a junior now. And um, about a year ago, I felt a conviction to take a year out of school to go on a mission trip um, for that entire year. And um, I want to share with you an experience I had that stood out to me um, during that time. And um, it happened in Seattle, Washington. Uh, and during, in this mission group, we did a lot of canvassing to raise funds for our foreign mission trip. And um, so every day we go out, um, whether it was rain or shine, um, this partic particular day, it was rainy. Um, and we were still going out. And I was the, the canvassing director. Um, and so at the, at the beginning of our run, um, I instructed everyone to, to go to certain houses, to go to certain streets. But as I was talking, um, further down past the group, about a block down, I saw a young man with a green hoodie and a hat on his, um, on his head and he was passing around the corner and I felt a strong conviction to go to that guy personally, myself, not to send anyone else. And um, so after I you know, dismissed everyone, I took off running as fast as I could because the guy had already turned the corner and I felt impressed to go talk to him. So when I got to him, um, he was probably, or when I got around the corner, he had already made it a couple, he'd almost made it to the next corner. But I got to him and I started pouring my heart out to him, saying, hello, man, my name is Jonathan Dixon. And I was just telling him, man, I'm doing uh, this work because I feel it to be one of the most important things. I see as young people, we have a purpose, we have a mission. I came to tell you that you have a purpose, you have a mission. I gave, you know, and as I'm talking, uh, a, a smell hits, hits my mouth, uh, hits my, my nose and it's marijuana. I start looking at his eyes, I see that he has, his eyes are red. Um, as, he, as I'm talking to him, he looks like he's, he's, like he's checked out. And um, I knew that God had sent me to him, so I was really um, passionate. And I, I took out a great controversy, a very powerful book, and I handed it to him and I told him that this, is, this book has some really important things about um, the purpose of humanity and the purpose that we have. And I handed it to him, and um, the only thing he said was, thanks, man. And he turned around and walked away. Now, can you imagine how I felt? I felt like I had just ran. I had just gave my all in ministry for someone and it looked like it, it failed in a sense. It didn't look like um, the fruit that I wanted had been yielded. And so I, I walked away and um, I was battling in my heart. I was like, man, it, you know, that, that didn't go like I expected, but I shrugged it off because I knew there were other souls. There are more people I had to reach. And so I, I kept going. And um, we, we ended up canvassing. This was probably around a Tuesday. Um, the weekend came and we, we started going to different churches, um, sharing testimonies and different things. And um, I had gone, I visited a church, a um, church I'd never been to, and um, I was sharing a testimony. And as I was speaking, um, you know, I'm telling the testimony, someone, I see the back door open, and it's this young man. And I'm, I'm confused, I'm like, is that, is that really him? Maybe I'm seeing it wrong. Maybe I'm just... You know, and so afterward, I go, after the program, I go to him and I, I you know, dab him up and I tell him I'm glad to see him here. And I ask him, you know, I'm surprised, uh, surprised to see you. I'm glad to see you. Um, and man, I wish there was more I could have said to encourage you when I saw you earlier this week. And he stopped me. He was like, man, what are you saying? The words that you spoke to me were words of life and I needed them. Thank you. So what I gained from this experience is that every time I receive a conviction from God to go and act on something, I should not allow my uh, feelings or, or my expectations of how it will turn out um, to, to change um, the zeal that I have in this. Because I know that whatever God tells me to do has a purpose that's greater than what I, than, than what I can see. And um, there's a promise in Isaiah 55 verse 11 that says, it pretty much says that when God sends out his word, when he, he gives a command, 
it does not return to him void. It accomplishes what he sent it forth to do. And in the same way, when he sends us forth, um, it is his intention through his power, whatever he commands us to do, we will accomplish. Um, and a lot of times we, we end up looking for certain results, um, expecting certain results. But God is doing so much through willing hearts. And I know that he used me then and he will continue to use me. As, as missionaries, as people being sent forth by God, we should never allow our feelings to stop us from acting on the mission that he's given us. Can you imagine if Moses allowed um, his comfort to keep him in Egypt or allowed um, complacency to keep him with uh, his, his uncle? Then the children of Israel may have not been um, set free through the means by God using Moses. Can you imagine if David allowed fear to hold him back from fighting Goliath? Or can you imagine if Jesus allowed disappointment to stop him from going to the cross? In the same way, we should never allow our feelings to stop us from acting on the mission that God has given us. And as young people, and as God's children in general, He has given us so many promises to let us know that He is always with us and that we can go with confidence knowing that what mission He sends us on, um, we need not fear, we need not um, worry, but we can have joy in knowing that what He sent us to do will save souls and will bring us into a better experience of life and bring others as well. And so once again, God has a mission for me and he has a mission for you. And it is the best thing for you, for me, and for others once you choose to accept it.